we just woke up. We had our diaper changed. We got our clothes on. Now where are we going to go? Oh, is it time to turn on our shows? Let's see. Not that remote. Yeah, you got your Marshall. You got Marshall. We have our carpets all nice and cleaned in here. Bubby cleaned them last night when you went to bed. We get little bottle spillages all over the carpet. What is this all about? Oh, okay. So what are we going to watch? One thing I need to do here today is um move out of the way. Uh, I'm going to make cabbage rolls. So I took lots of meat out. That's all defrosted, and I need to wipe that up. And this is um, caramel apple crisp. I made that last year, I think, for you guys in one of my videos. I might have to make it again, because I have a lot of new subscribers, and I need to get some... Um, where did I put... I think they're up there. i got to get my disinfecting wipes. Or you know what? Instead of doing that, let me just get this. My Clorox bleach and um, clean where that meat was in the fridge. It's not leaking or anything, but, you know, it's still meat. So I always try to wipe things down even when it gets on the counter. So I'm going to make cabbage rolls here. And when I make cabbage rolls, I slow cook them. <clears throat> And I made homemade cranberry sauce a couple days ago. We had homemade chicken noodle soup uh, yesterday uh, with BLT sandwiches. So we have extra veggies there. Okay, getting ready to do my cabbage rolls. Television's on. Carly's up watching the news. Look how big that head of cabbage is. There's my hand. That's how big. And this is perfect size for doing cabbage rolls because... When you take off, these are the cruddy leaves. I'm going to throw them away, but when you get nice sized leaves like that, this is actually too big though, but to put your meat in and roll up, the leaves will now start getting smaller than that. But anyway, this is perfect size. So I'm going to get my water going because you got to steam your cabbage to loosen the leaves to pull off. Then I cool them on the counter and roll them with my meat mixture. All right, my memory card must have been full because um, my camera kept stopping. Let's hope that's what it was and my camera doesn't stop now. So I'm going to make the uh, sauce now for the cabbage rolls. Okay, you really don't want um, your cabbage rolls swimming in sauce. Now, if I didn't have this meat sauce to add to this, I sometimes have used two cans or I use a can of this and then I get some tomato paste with some water and mix that. And then so then all you do, this is, uh, let's see, this is an eight, eight cup. So this is six cups of sauce here. And so I just pour it over here. Your cabbage, even though, um, you know, it's been partially cooked because they've been steamed, they'll still render um, a little bit of liquid in here. Plus, the meat is going to give out, um, you know, the, the fat content and so forth. I use lean meat, but, you know, you always still get a little bit of um, fat in there. So, I'm going to cover this up. I've got my oven at 275. I'm going to slow cook this. It's 1041, so it'll be ready by dinner time. I'm out here in my garage. So, again, as far as like shopping and winterizing and things, you know, that I've been getting, um, here's even some things, you know, going out and buying up um, kitty litter because my cats, uh, they go outside a lot when it's nice, and so the cat litter box doesn't get full. But in the winter when they're indoors a lot, then that's when we really need the cat litter. So I got a bunch to get us going. And here's our potatoes for this year. I want to show you. Look at 
there's still some small ones. I mean, there's all different shapes and sizes. Medium, big, large, but most of them are large. Last year, I think I showed you guys that um, for some reason the potatoes were really, really small last year. So we got some great big ones. Um, even look down here. See? And that one. Big, big, big. All right, over here, we I just bought uh, garbage cans. These are brand new from the store, and we drilled holes on this side and on the other side because you have to ventilate. See this? This even has holes in it, too. Harry built this. You have to be able to let your fruits and vegetables, they have gases in them. They have to be able to escape. So we drilled holes in there, and there's uh, my cabbages. And these two are the red cabbages, and then I got some green ones down there, and I didn't have any more room, so I took two of them into the house, and one I used today. So there's that, and we did the same thing over here with our apples. So these are um, golden delicious and red delicious apples in there. And these are um, Autumn Crisp and I think Gala are these. And like I said, it's warm the last couple days. It's warm today. Okay, so like I said, it's been warm the last couple days. It's going to be warm today. It's going to be warm tomorrow. Kind of iffy on Thursday, but I think by the time... I mean like low 70s probably by tomorrow. And I think by Friday it's supposed to get down to the 60s and by the weekend it's supposed to be in the 50s again and hopefully it's going to stay that way so we're Indian summer right now now if it was the end of September uh, where it would still be really warm it's too warm to store apples and any kind of veggies really in your garage but once those temperatures start going down it's okay so now let's talk about freezers all right, I call this now my old freezer. This used to be my new freezer. Uh, when we first moved here, we had one freezer, and uh, the compressor went out on it. We got that freezer in the early 90s when we were living in Virginia. So we went and bought then this white freezer, and we had it for a couple years. And then in 2012, when my mother-in-law, we moved her up here, we brought her upright freezer and she had that freezer I think 20, 25, maybe even more years. Um, they had that even when they lived in Houston, brought it up to Virginia and then we brought it here. So um, it started freezing up over the last couple years, especially the two top shelves. Um, and I'd have to defrost it at least once, sometimes twice a year. It wasn't that bad, but I, we noticed that the bottom two shelves were not staying cold and like the breads where I kept those on the bottom shelf um, they weren't even freezing and so um, I when I went to defrost the freezer I didn't know that at the time I had some soups down there with the bread and cabbage rolls and stuff I had to throw them out because um, they all thawed out so and once they're thawed and especially you don't know how long they were in there you can't refreeze those because you know you could get botulism and stuff so you gotta throw all that out so I have had questions about my freezers, uh, especially when I'm talking about freezing bread, freezing soups. I've talked about even if you make uh, something and, I don't know, maybe some of your kids were sick, didn't feel good. Anyway, by the time you have leftovers, you have a whole bunch of them and you don't think that you're going to be using it. Instead of throwing it out, you know, you can put those in Ziploc freezer bags and you can freeze those things. And I've done that, uh, especially like when I make uh, Mexican spaghetti. It, the recipe that I have makes a whole bunch. So we eat on half of it and the other half, I don't even save it for leftovers. I just go ahead and I freeze it and then it's another whole meal uh, when I go to pull it out of the freezer. So I've had people ask me, you, you can put all this stuff in your freezer like with the refrigerator. It's like, no, because the freezers in my house just have like vegetables and you know, things, go-to things that I need and like uh, juices and things like that. So I used to have everything, meats, breads, everything in this freezer. 
and then I got the second freezer so that I can stay stocked ahead uh, of the game and not having to run to the store all the time or run to Costco all the time. Um, I made this my meat freezer and my mother-in-law's freezer became my what I called my vegetable bread freezer and like odds and ends. So let me show you these now. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, so this is my freezer. And I think I showed you, you guys, this. You know, like I try to put all chicken on one shelf and da 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 da. Okay, the other freezer, it was going on the blink. It was starting to get all frozen and everything. And um, I wasn't putting really anything else in there. And I'm glad that I didn't because I would have lost those things like this. This is chicken soup. And this is another soup that I had made. And so I'm actually going to take these out and put them over there where they belong. And then that'll make more room in here uh, if I go do a Costco run, which I'm thinking about doing here. And uh, this is cream of mushroom soup. So I'm going to get all my soups out of here. And I'll have a little bit of space to fill in. I need, um, you know, just some more chicken and stuff like that. So, and I even have yeast in here. Uh, just, you know, odds and ends, okay? So that's this freezer. And this one, I'm going to open this. And this one's a lot bigger. It's even taller. So I can get a lot of things in here. And that was Brian's car that you heard he left. Look at that. And you can't really see the smoke. You know, it looks like smoke. But <laughs> it's like dry ice or whatever. My other freezer wasn't even doing that. So... Uh, on this top shelf, um, this is where I keep all my french fries, tater tots, pierogies, that sort of thing. I'm keeping all my veggies here. Um, I got veggies in here, and I even have some veggies still here on the door. Down here, this is where I've started putting like my soups and chilies and things like that. And these are soups too. These, I have these, so like if just one person is not feeling well and needs some chicken soup, they can pull those out like that. Uh, let's see, my Cool Whips. This down here is my baking um, shelf. So I got some cake there, I got some cookies, I got uh, muffins down there. That's a turkey that I have bought. Uh, and this is where I'm keeping my bread. So I can still fill in some more bread here. And actually, I could probably, you know, get some bread, turn it on its side, and probably put like another loaf even down there too. So I, I've got room still that I can make some more soups and that sort of thing. This is empty, so, you know, I can put things in here. Even if I needed to unload some of the vegetables and just put the veggies up here. I keep extra nuts, and those are nuts. Again, more yeast. These are those zucchini breads that I made. Uh, so that can be popped up actually a little bit more. So there's room there, there's room there. So anyway, this is my freezer here. And this is how I do it. Uh, I gotta put those soups in there, but this is how I do it and I just constantly just stay stocked up and you know I can you know I have freezers and you know that I just try to just stock up and just have things um, and especially like when winter comes because you get crazy weather you know I don't like going out in the rain anymore I, it never bothered me before I just get an umbrella just go but I don't even like going out in the rain anymore um, real cold weather. I like the cold, but you know, sometimes you just don't want to venture out, you know? So it's just always nice to just have stuff on hand. And it's nice to have stuff on hand because in the fall, in the spring, you know, you come into all different kinds of storms. Um, sometimes they knock out your power. It also happens in the winter. And um, I learned my lesson many, many years ago when that happened to us. We were living in Virginia in the middle of winter and our power was out for like three days. So, you know, it's just always good just to have things as a backup. And then also large family. So there's a lot of factors of why I have two freezers, um, you know, just how, how I do things, you know, uh, just in case anybody has a question, because I do get a lot of questions. So. They must have built nests here even before there was a road. Or maybe the turtles went through this grate under the road and came out here through this tunnel. Now it's all filled up with sand. Can you clear Are you going to be able to get down? Belly scratch.
about to make me flop on my This back. is the second time now he's got up in this shelf. The last time that he got up, he actually got up into that shelf there. Are you stuck? Well, I was going to give an update, and I came in here to see what you were doing, and here you are. Let's go change your diaper, because I smell a little pooty on your booty. I'm so frustrated, and why would I be frustrated? Well, I showed my cabbage rolls, and seriously, I showed the beginning of making my cabbage rolls all the way to the end of making the cabbage rolls, and you saw the beginning, and you saw the very end of it, but you didn't see nothing in between. And, um, uh, what happened was, um, I had footage on my memory card that I had not taken off of my memory card. I didn't delete anything. And so I was running out of memory. But the thing was, everything was recording. Um, I even had my camera on my tripod while I was rolling all my cabbage rolls out. I was talking and I was giving updates of, you know, what's been going on here since, you know, my vacation videos and that sort of thing. And I don't know what happened. I went to edit everything and my segments were gone. I don't know what happened. So that's frustrating. So anyhow, if you want to know how I do my meat mixture for my cabbage rolls, I just pretty basically just do like what you're doing for meatballs or whatever. But instead of adding breadcrumbs, I put in rice. And you can either use minute rice, which is what I do. Uh, because if you use regular rice, you have to cook the rice first and then put it in, you know. So I just use minute rice. So anyway, but I showed all the things that um, I put in there. So anyway, I don't know. Maybe if I do cabbage rolls again another time, I'll show you guys how I do it. I think I've already shown it like a long time ago, but I got a lot of new subscribers. So what was I sharing with my updates while I had my camera on my tripod? I was just telling everybody what's been going on uh, since... Um, we've been back from vacation. I put out my vacation videos for you guys, but I really haven't been vlogging in the last three weeks since we've been home. And the reason why is because I've been winterizing and just kind of, you know, chilling a little bit before things start getting really busy here. Uh, what do I mean by winterizing? Well, you know, just getting everything that I need for the winter. Like we've gone to the orchard a couple different times now. I'm going to have another video following this one, just showing um, just, you know, us going to the orchards and that. Uh, so you saw the potatoes, you saw the cabbage and the apples and things like that. I probably will make one more run to the orchard before they finally close for the season, which the one orchard I go to all the time, their last day is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And so I'll probably go in a couple weeks once it gets to be November. And uh, so you saw all like the cat litter outside because we've been doing a lot of shopping. So before I get into all the shopping, um, let me just show you outside here. And look, there's a stink bug. Um, I have all my cushions still on my furniture, but everything else, I've cleared all my flower pots out empty there and I put things away and all my cushions will stay up probably for the next couple weeks and then I'll put uh, my cushions away. I'll probably do that uh, the weekend of Halloween. Let's see, the 28th is on a Friday so Friday or Saturday I'll probably do it and move all the furniture around and the reason why I put it away even though you can still sit outside. We'll still sit on our swing, but um, the reason why I go ahead and uh, put everything away early because after Halloween is over, all my autumn stuff goes down, all my Christmas starts coming in and that sort of thing. And for about the first two weeks in November, I'm decorating for Christmas. And then by that point, then you're getting into mid-November, it's kind of cold you know, by that point to go outside and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so I started to winterize already outside. 
<clears throat> and let's see. So, you know, just doing winter preps, getting everything done that we had to get done. Uh, like, you know, we had to get the chimney sweep here. I did that before vacation. We had to get our chimney repaired outside. Uh, I did that before vacation. But while we were on vacation, we had our septic system pumped and, you know, just, you know, stuff like that. Then I've done Christmas shopping. Uh, I got everything except I'm going to get a few more things for Alex. And there's something that I'm going to get Harry. Actually, we're going to go out this weekend, uh, I think. Um sometime and go get his big Christmas gift. I'm buying Harry a drone for Christmas this year because uh, he, you know, he likes little toys and things and I thought that would keep him occupied. And um, he'd been talking about a drone, you know, when they first came out. And he just never got one, so I'm going to get him one for Christmas. But I'm going to take him with me because some drones, you know, they could start a couple hundred dollars, but they could go over a thousand dollars. Anyway, it's a lot of money that you're investing, so I want to make sure that he gets what he wants and that he gets every single thing that he needs to um, operate it. Sometimes drones can be hard to operate if you don't have every single thing that you need, so it's just better if I take him. So we're going to go do that. And then after I get a few more things for Alex, then my Christmas shopping is done. So um, the only thing that I have to do for Christmas is still go out and price garlands for the staircase. And then really that's it. Um, then I just really, you know, I need to decorate. But as far as like shopping goes also, um, you know, prepping for winter, Christmas shopping, all of that. The other thing I do too is I get things to keep stocked up. Um, you know, now's the time that they're putting out those um, holiday aisles at the grocery store where they're starting to put down all the things on the shelves for baking and all of that sort of thing. So when I go shopping, I know, you know, like if I'm making fudge, I need evaporated milk, I need you know, chocolate, I need this, I need, you know, all the different things that you need. I begin buying all of that stuff even before the holidays get here. So when I'm in the mood to begin my holiday baking, my holiday baking, I can commence with it and I don't have to worry about running to the store to get anything. I just stay ahead on everything all the time. So it's been that kind of shopping. So like when I say I'm prepping for the winter and stuff, and things like that. It's, you know, just, you know, for the home, for all of our, um, you know, grocery needs and baking needs and things like that. Uh, so I've been doing that. And then, of course, my freezer went out. We had to go shop for a new freezer. So things like this, you know, it's been keeping me occupied here since I've been home from vacation. Now, uh, I guess the last little update I will give here uh, is talking about Christmas decorating coming up soon. Before I pulled out all my fall decorations, you guys know that I cleaned the lights and pulled furniture out and cleaned. You know, I kind of do like fall cleaning. But usually like, you know, the globes there, you know, they get dirty every couple of months. And, you know, I got to clean those. And my other chandeliers and things like that, pulling the furniture out. Every few months, you know, you got to do that. Um, I did it, what was it, uh, in August, and so by the time that really it would need to be done again, it would be probably like November, December time frame. Well, that's, I'm going to have all my Christmas stuff up, and so I don't want to, you know, try to be doing heavy cleaning and moving stuff when I got all my Christmas stuff up. So it's just better to redo it again, and I usually do this. I, I do like my fall cleaning early, like it's really like late summer, but I do my fall cleaning. But then when fall gets here like now, then I do like a little redo on certain things. Something else I just remembered uh, that I forgot to share. Like Carly and I have been to Lowe's a couple different times. The first time we went was to check on some Christmas lights. All of my trees now are pre-lit trees except for my office tree and the tree in the dining room. And uh, I think I told you guys my tree situation, my hall Christmas tree. I'm moving down here 
And I got now the four foot one that's going to be upstairs in the hallway. I'm kind of wondering, oh, somebody's at my door. Uh, I'm waiting for the doorbell to ring. Oh, it's Brian. What? So that's the one guy. He's here to do the final application. See everything, you know, getting ready for the winter now. So it's the final time that he comes. So I was talking about my Christmas tree here in the dining room. That's the only one that uh, I string lights on. So I went over to Lowe's to um, go find my random sparkle lights and they didn't have any. They didn't put them out this year. So I'm thinking I'm just going to use the lights that I had last year. Um, hopefully they won't go out. I don't think so. I think you can probably get like a couple years worth in your lights, but I always just get new ones every year anyway. So I'll just, you know, use what I had last year. And while I was there, I was looking at all the different outdoor decorations and so forth. And they have some really cute Disney things. I'm going to have Harry go out there with me one day and look and see, you know, if he wants them or not. I will put them probably here in the back. So that's what I've been doing. Shopping, getting ready for the holidays, getting ready for winter, and I guess I'm probably almost about done with everything except odds and ends here and there. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to upload this so that you guys will have a vlog to watch because I know it's been a very long time. And now hopefully I can get back to regular vlogging. Uh, after this vlog, however, like I said, we went to two different orchards. And so I have some footage. So that will be the next video. And then after that, we'll get back to regular vlogging. Until then, see you guys. Bye.